Alright, we are finally back with more Sonic Mania Plus. Welcome to the Flying Battery Zone. Another returning level, this time from Sonic and Knuckles, which was the second zone in that game. Back in business once again, and now we have to take it down a second straight time. I think we're going to get a kick and an amusement out of it as well. I'm actually really excited to see what modifications um, they've made since we were here last time. Is there going to be a new gimmick? Features? I really hope it's not going to go back to its original ways, you know, as before. That was one difference right there. We had to knock the monitor down, which contained a fire shield. Last time it was just there. We didn't have to do that. But sadly, you have to do it in this game. Of course, it's not that big of a deal. There's the X sonic icon that means we can go super if we want to and just pretty much cheese the whole act but we're not going to like i said um i may not have mentioned it but i will only use it in case of emergencies or if it's absolutely necessary that is the only time i will press this x button but if i get hit then of course i won't have to be bothered about it at all for the time being until I get 50 more rings. Now here's a new gimmick. When the magnetic pulse activates, if you have a lightning shield, it will make you go upside down. Thankfully it does not invert the controls, otherwise that would be really picky and obnoxious because I wouldn't deal with it whatsoever. I would end up getting confused, possibly, going in the wrong directions and if by sheer accident I went into a propeller, I would have no one to blame up myself for it. Now if you did that, and not touch a button for a split second, you'll get launched to the very far left, and we've got a wind box and another extra life. Tails, where are you? I do need you for this. Or not. Okay, now I do. Because we want to go up here, because this is the best route that I can choose, you know, and avoid all, any more long obstacles that could be very timely costly. Damn it. Well, there goes that. I think we may get another one shortly, I think. Yep, there we go. So let's pretend that never happened. I think there is a ton of rings if Tails can fly me up. Bingo! Wow. Very generous, I will admit. I think that must have been about 30 I got. I don't know, I'm not paying attention to the ring counter, I'm just collecting them. Here we go, mini boss time. Thankfully, we won't have to worry about the special stages because we've got all seven now in the last two levels combined, which was Chemical Plant and Studio Opolis. Now this is called the Tight Squeezer, basically he'll produce reminiscent of these junk bits on the floor here, and each time we hit it, the walls will cave in, um, bit by bit, so you do have a time limit to take this thing out. If you have a lightning shield, or you can get Tails to hit him with his tail copters, then yeah, by all means, please do so. So I, I keep having to pause because that jingle can be a bit loud. Why is Tails in a catcher? Why did he just fly? Huh, that's quite a bizarre misunderstanding there, but hey, I guess that's the purpose of the game, I suppose. Here is Act 2. Now, some people occasionally um, like to voice their opinions on this. I'm not saying that's completely true, but hey, I suppose I'll go along with it. Is that they prefer the remix of um, the second part of the level. Now again, that's just my professional opinion. Well, not entirely professional, but hey, I'm just giving my judgmental thoughts. Now that pilot that we just took down, I think he is the main operator of these 
electro mines here or generators. You could do it the longer way by taking them out one by one like I'm doing here. Or you can or you can just go for the main bastard himself. Hello, Robo Shooter Chickens. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you die. <laughs> Sorry, I do get a kick out of doing that a lot. Um, is there another one? I think there is. That's free for free. Very dark background. You can tell we are really in the upper skies now. Also, I found out on the Sonic Wiki, oh, done, that this actually takes place on a blimp. In my initial thought, I actually thought it was a ship because it certainly has the similar structures of looking like one. I swear, I did not know that in all the times I have encountered this stage. I'm waiting for my fox here so he can fly me up. Wait for him to be active. We want to go left. Jump onto these springs. Missed opportunity there. There's a giant ring. Gives us 50 bonus rings. What so we don't get crushed? Onto these swingers again. I'm um, going very nearly touching that. Um, I'm actually a bit disappointed that the other classics, you know, before this kick way um, was released, like over 20 years ago. I think I mentioned it before in the previous video that I did before I had to scrap. Is that the side games of um, the mini series, you know, before the main ones were highly criticised. Um, people did not all enjoy it that well because of the designs, the graphics, and the actual gameplay itself, but I still thought I really enjoyed it because I tried them out myself before. But I guess people who just don't have a real good taste in Sonic games, why do you bother at all? But I'm not one to beat around the bush about it. I just enjoy it for what it is. It is, and I really... Oh... <laughs> yeah. I accidentally pressed left, I think, when I shouldn't have touched the damn button at all. Unfortunately, it sends us back here. Well, at least we now know... Now, not what to do. Cheers, Tails. Taking two out for me, even though they were already disarmed because we took out this asshole right here damn it again <laughs> look at tails he's just looking at the screen is like what the fuck was that did you seriously just die again yes unfortunately we did and that was completely my bad I really hope this isn't the downward spiral beginning because that's not going to bode well for the rest of the game. More or less this LP. Um, can we go back down here? Yes, we can. And try that again. And I'm saying that word again and again, which is, you know, the A word. There's just no other words that I can replace. You know, it's just what I'd like to use. That's what I originally intended to do. We got another wing box worth of 10. And eventually on Lightning Shield backwards, that went completely haywire. Let's go to the bonus stage for a quick one. This is the pinball. Man, it's been like, what, since Green Hill Zone since we've seen this? Um, I'll take that shield, because I definitely need it. Because after the bot, because after this, it is the boss. So, I just decided not to do anything because that's all I went in for. 
one shot for the opportunity to go super. But this is the upside down spider boss. The only way to damage it is if you swing on the, you know, propellers. Or what was the main use of it. Um, hit the bumper as I tried to do, but completely missed. And you have to launch it into the spikes. Like that. This takes about 8 hits to defeat. That didn't get enough impact on the first one I tried to do there. But the second one um, was a bit more better. Basically, repeat again. I got a bit too greedy there. I should have waited till he, you know... Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I say somewhat of a bad word there? It almost sounded censored. That's it. And again, we got him. Overall, that took just five minutes. About. But... What's done is done, and so is the flying battery. So, I will see you all next time, after this little sequence happens, as we fly into what will be the next level, Press Garden. But that's next time, so I will see you then. This is me signing off. Catch you next time. Take it easy.